Good morning everyone. So I just woke up and got ready and I am going to a job interview. I'll go into a little bit more detail of why I'm going to this job interview because my whole situation kind of changed over the past, well, three-ish weeks. So I'm going to get ready and get some food in me and then when I get back, I'll tell you a little bit more about this whole situation. So I kind of rediscovered warm oats again and I'm completely hooked. So I'm adding some oats, some peanut butter powder, Powder and some cinnamon in a bowl to which I add some water I give that a good stir and I noticed that it was still a little bit too thick and I added a little bit more water because in the microwave lots of the water is just getting absorbed and then of course if you're an OG to the channel you'll definitely recognize my vanilla flavor drops which are a must so giving that another stir and then I'll put it in the microwave for around 40 seconds see here one minute but I get it out a little bit before and then give that another stir and then add also some banana because when you put them in the microwave they just turn super sweet which is just what you want for another like one and a half minute ish and then I get those out and as you can see the bananas are nicely cooked and then on top I put some chia and flax seeds, some soy yogurt and also some peanut butter and a little bit of syrup. And there you have it, an amazing, super warm filling bowl of oats to start your morning. I'm just getting to my platform and luckily it's only like 12 minutes with a train to my destination. So I'm just chilling for this time and kind of mentally preparing myself for the interview. As you can see here, I am all done and it's super sunny out. So that just really warms my heart. I'm so ready for spring right now. It was nice and quiet in the train backs. So that was a bonus for me. Okay, so I just got back from my interview and well, it actually went pretty well. Oh, very sunny outside. And windy so don't mind my crazy hair but yeah i'm a bit unsure on what to do because the situation is the coming five months so april may june july august i basically don't have a job and i only heard about that two weeks ago so i'm currently uh, working as a working student within consulting i'm really enjoying that but yeah as of end of march i'm no longer an employee there so that means that i have to find another job for the upcoming five months because if all goes well i'll start within another job in September which is really cool it's like a traineeship so you rotate between different teams uh, but you are just you know a starter so you it's not like you get a working student salary or like an intern salary like it's really like a normal position but yeah I'm really unsure how the next five months of my life basically are going to look like I'm really doubting between either doing some like call center or customer service which was the interview I had today like nothing really um, intense but you know just to make some um, money on the side because five months of no income is is not really feasible for me to live on but there's also the option to kind of further explore more kind of financial positions which are more aligned to what i'm going to do and you know are more beneficial towards the experience i already have and to kind of build some experience for the future but yeah these ones are most of the time just full-time jobs so i will have to call companies to see if they want someone for like 24 hours per week because i definitely want time to work also on my youtube and to do like fun stuff because after this i'm gonna just start working Oof. Oh, this is heavy even though it's literally only my phone but um yeah so i'm very torn what i want to do right now okay this feels very odd okay let me 
okay i'll just have to train my arms a little bit more to be able to hold this but yeah i'm really torn and just not sure what the right option is now for me there's also something fun my parents have this holiday home in another part of the netherlands and i actually was, was thinking of going there next week for just a few days and then kind of just be there kind of wind down it's really it's in nature and of course i live right in the center of a big city so that's just super fun to kind of get out of the normal routine for a sec and I will be able to do it because I can work from home and my uni courses that just started, they are recorded. So, I mean, I could actually go there for just a few days, but yeah, I'm, I'm, not, too, I'm not too sure yet. So there's lots of decisions on my mind right now and I, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do uh, in all situations. And it's, I'm like in a very, I uh, don't mind also my laundry in the back, but of course it's all very privileged positions. And that's just as a side note, like this is really silly stuff that I'm thinking about now. But yeah, I'm uh, still figuring out what I have to do, especially the job job thing. Of course, the trip there is nice, uh, but yeah, especially the job thing. I'm, I'm really unsure what the best decision for me is right now, what to do. Okay, so I'm all dressed for the gym. I'm gonna head out and then hopefully have some miraculous idea that's come to mind of what I should do with jobs and trips and everything. I don't think I will. <laughs> no, 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 we don't don't want to jinx it. But uh, no, hopefully I'll just get this uh, light bulb uh, like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do when I'm in the gym. Well, uh, we'll see. was a bit annoying because after this set I realized that the barbell was 15 kilos instead of 20 kilos which I didn't really know the gym also owned so I was feeling as I thought super strong that day um, but yeah unfortunately I was just pushing five kilos lighter and here I put on the extra weight to kind of compensate for that but yeah that was a little bit of a rain on my parade but it's fine we move on <laughs> Okay, good morning everyone. So it is the next day. I just rolled out of bed, so don't mind my bed head. Um, but I can confirm I didn't have some sort of miraculous light bulb moment yesterday at the gym, unfortunately. Um, however, after that I did, like especially this morning, I kind of think it over, the whole, my whole situation with work and also the trip over. And I think work is clear now. I'm just gonna start the job that I applied for yesterday and I'm gonna still continue applying to more more like financially geared or, or oriented jobs as well but then i'm just going to start next week then probably or the week after uh, in april so i'll just have some income and then i'll just see if anything kind of better comes along then i'll go for that and i just decided to go on my solo trip to my parents holiday home here in the netherlands today it is march 25th uh, saturday and i just booked this one for Monday up until Friday. I won't be staying until Friday. I'll probably leave on Thursday, but she is booked. Nice. I'm really excited actually for that because it really gives me some time to, what I said, get out of the city for a bit and just kind of enjoy myself. Some people, they go on a crazy trip to Asia. I go to a holiday home in the Netherlands, no. Oh well, I think I'm just gonna enjoy myself and Monday evening I'll go and drive up, uh, which is also really nice because tomorrow on Sunday, the clock is going 
back one hour or forwards like it's gonna be summertime i don't know actually if they have that in all countries but both in winter and summertime we move our clock one hour back or forwards which means that the sun is also gonna be like down one hour later which is nice and i won't have to drive there in, in the dark so yeah i'm actually really really stoked for this with that i think i want to close off this video it's been a little bit weird and all over the place but i really hope you still enjoyed it i will definitely be recording this mini solo trip so definitely stay tuned for that video and i hope to see you then